Hi everyone, I'm back. This is Ryan in my garage. Um, if uh, to anybody who noticed I wasn't around for the last week or so, uh, apologies for that. Been extremely busy in and out of the country and uh, too busy to shave even. So for this week at least, looking untidy. However, I'm back in today, back on the bike. I'm gonna see if I can work on the calipers. I'm gonna see if I can start preparing the side panels for some paint. It's very cold, you might be able to see my breath. Um, so I don't think I can get any painting done today, uh, but I can get prepped up. So to start with, I'm gonna put on some gloves and some overalls because I'm cold, not for protection, but it will help. So uh, let's get started. Well, first things first, my daily bike, which I haven't used for a couple of weeks because I've been too busy in a way. Um, battery's flat, so uh, let's get that on charge. Let's see if we can go, get that running again. Uh, it's got an MOT book next week, so uh, give that a check over later, but that's secondary. Don't worry about that for now. Okay, so back on the brakes, trying to get these bled up. First thing I've done, uh, read your comments, so I'm gonna try just holding that lever in for a while. Um, although I've only just got out here, so that's only been in for a sh short period of time. But I'm gonna leave that for a minute, um, well, a while at least, as long as I can. Whilst I'm doing that, I'm gonna try and manually fill both the brake line and the caliper with brake fluid. Um, and I think that will help massively. I think the fact that it's full of air is making bleeding the whole system far more difficult. So with that, I'm gonna try, uh, not sure, someone said pushing the fluid back through the bleed nipple, possible, maybe through this line. Um, alternatively, I might just disconnect the brake line itself, possibly from the top. So actually I might take that off, take the brake line off, try and just feed oil down that until it comes out the, uh, the bleed. Yeah, I think that's my plan. Okay, so taking the lid off, undone this bolt, and I'm just gonna remove this fitting here from the top of the brake line. And I think that just unscrews, yes it does. And then I've got the ability to just use like, like a syringe or a pipette and just put oil directly down the end of this pipe. So let's see uh, how we get on with that. Okay, let's give this a go. So some nice new brake fluid. Pipette. Brake fluid now coming out with bubbles. That's coming out the overflow, the breather. Good. Right, bit of pipe. There we go. We've got bubbles coming up. That tube. There. Excellent. Right, I'm going to keep slowly adding brake fluid. And in theory, I reckon 
I'm going to get to a point whereby air stops coming out of this and then I'm going to have a level of fluid then I can lock this off and then by continuing to have brake fluid it should fill the line up here but that will get the caliper full and that's a good start Now put brake fluid in the line until it looks like it's sitting at the top of the line. So I think the brake line itself is now full of fluid. It's just coming out at the top. So, in theory, the caliper's mostly full, the line's mostly full. Let's try reconnecting it. Okay, so that's all reconnected and tightened up. Now I'm going to leave this with the brake lever pulled in and uh, just get on with another job. We'll come back to this in a few hours. And uh, in theory, any remaining air in this line should self-bleed out through that. But um, we'll leave it alone for a while and we'll come back to it. Okay, next I'm going to turn my attention to these two side panels. Um, obviously different colours, different graphics, different everything. They need painting, but before that they need stripping and preparing. Um, neither's fantastic, but both are quite savable. So I'm going to begin with by just warming them up, seeing if I can get all these uh, graphics off of both. If I can get those off, I'm then just going to rub them back down. Um, underneath, they both appear to actually be this same sort of white colour. So I think with good preparation, they should both paint up and look identical. So uh, let's get this heated and stripped and uh, make a start. Let's see if we can warm these up. warmed up and that is certainly the right way to take these graphics off when they're warm they just peel okay so carry on so there's that panel all those graphics come off nicely and there's the red one with the decals off just try and get some of this remaining uh, solvent off with a bit of spirit and then we'll start rubbing it back Okay, decals off. Now let's try uh, rubbing this back and getting a good key for some proper primer. All right. I don't know if this is right or not, but I'm going to just start with some uh, 800 grit paper and uh, start seeing if I can rub back through the outer layers.
now these are all keyed up next thing I'm going to do is give them a damn good wash make sure they're as clean as I can possibly get them Now it's thoroughly dried, I'm going to use some paint prep wipes and uh, see if I can get any last remnants of rubbish grease off of them before I try and apply a primer. Okay. I'm going to use this uh, plastic primer to try and see if I can get an even covering like that. It's clean, it's dry, it's not too cold. Our first coat, let's give that time to dry. There we are, both panels prepped up. So just need to leave that to harden off now. move towards the top coat. One question is when they're ready to paint, what colour will it be? Well, it's staying black, it's staying Honda black, but it's going Honda Nighthawk black. Um, that's not the original colour. It looks good to me. And that name, I mean, that's so close to the uh, uh, American name for my bike, um, Nighthawk. Um, it seems just like destiny. So um, that's what the bike's going to be. Okay, well that's all I've got time for today. So um, not a huge amount finished, but the pads, the panels are now just curing in primer. The brake is now more bled, but not finished yet. Um, so I'm leaving the lever compressed whilst I'm away and let's just see how that goes. So uh, for now that's me finished. So I'm expecting uh, far more time next week. Um, I've got commitments over the next few days but uh, we're making slow progress and keep moving forward. Thank you very much for your help and support. Please comment, like, subscribe to this channel. All of your comments are greatly appreciated. Thank you very much.